In this grasshopper tutorial and for the interior design, I've selected this gallery of one tea house, as you can see here. And I'm going to show you a simple tip you can use in grasshopper or a technique you can use in grasshopper to produce something similar to this, not exactly this one. And we can just change these numbers. Let's just check this out. You can change the radius of this sphere. Then we're going to define a scale in the y direction the x direction and we can also change the divisions as you can see here and also the size of the box so you can always change this and produce different results and we can finally at the end bake those boxes and produce the results okay let's just go into the shaded mode and here we go. So basically this tutorial will help you to understand uh, how to model this 1T house, something similar to the 1T house interior design in Grasshopper. Okay, before we start, if you're new to Grasshopper, you can watch a video up here. I will put a playlist which you can get started and know what Grasshopper is, why you should learn it, and then you can also watch the beginner tutorial. It's about one hour, so you can enter the world of parametric modeling with Grasshopper. And we also have a course for those who want to know more. We have extra advanced tutorials in our course. I'm going to put the lessons up here. You can check it out. Okay, so let's get started from scratch. You can also download this from our website and I'm going to put the link in the description and what I want to do is to produce a box so I'm going to go to the surface and into the primitive and you can see that we have a, a clear section for the boxes and I'm going to use maybe a domain box or a center box so let's just use a domain box and let's put the bifocals plugin so you can see the names and here we have the base which is an XY plane. You can see the, the box is located in an XY plane. Then we have the XYZ domain. So you can see that the input is basically a domain and we have to define a domain for the X dimension of the box and the Y dimension. So assume that we have something like minus six to plus six. Okay, let's just type this. We have a 12 meter box. So we can just make this with domains. We have talked about this before. So let's just go to the math and domain and use this construct domain tool. So I'm going to put this here, give this to the X and we have to make a domain. If we want a dimension, maybe 12.5, I'm going to give this to the start and the end. And we can say if we need something like a 12 meter length, what we have to do is to define minus x divided by 2 to x divided by 2 because we need 6 meters in the minus direction and 6 in the plus. So let's just get expression minus x divided by 2 and plus x divided by 2. And for the y direction, we can also just copy this and use another one so we can control the y direction okay and for the z because i want to just get up from the zero we can simply just give this a number and what will happen is that grasshopper thinks that we are going to start from zero so you can see that's going to be zero to that number so we can control that also okay so let's just give this a smaller number maybe 20. Okay, so this is the box, and if you just look at the project, let me just open the project here. Uh, you can see that this is a box, maybe something like that, which we have a shape inside it, and then we have those lines. Let me just go to another picture, maybe we can see it better, but I guess that this can help you understand these are the box. You can see that it's just cut off by a shape inside the box. So what we want to do is to go to Grasshopper and make a sphere in it and scale it in XYZ direction to make it an ellipsoid or something like that. So I'm going to go to the surface and use a sphere up here and let's just put this again this is in the XY plane and we give it a radius. So that's a little bit too much. I'm going to make this to 20 and with three decimals 
Okay, so we can just change this, and you can see that we are just cutting uh, our model. So if we bake these two things in Rhino, what we are going to produce is to just uh, pick this up and use the Boolean difference, something similar to this, I'm going to use that, and then uh, cut off the sphere from it. So it's going to be something like this, right? So we're going to change that. And now we can just play with the sphere. Let's scale it up. Scale non-uniform because we want to scale this sphere uh, in the XY plane, which have an XY and a Z scale, and give it different numbers. So maybe two uh, from 0 0.2 to maybe 2.2. For the X, Y, and Z direction, we're going to have different scalars. And you can see that we can just scale this in the X direction, the Y direction, and the Z direction. That's it. So this is really simple. We can control that and produce the results. Okay, for the next step, what we want to do to produce those boxes, as you can see the project, let me just open this up. Uh, we have to make points on the sphere, or the scaled sphere, and project that onto the box. So this is really easy. If you just use Grasshopper, this is really insane. You have to go and go to the surface and use this Divide Surface tool. I'm going to divide this into points. And maybe we just define the counts. So here we go. We can define the points here in the y, U count and the V count. This is a really simple way to produce this. OK. And now what we have to do is to project these points into that box. So you can see that each point has a normal direction and uh, Assume that this point here it is, we have a normal direction. If we project that into the box, we will have a point, and then we can make the box. So let's just go and type project point, project this point in the normal direction into the box. We can turn off the divided surface points, and here we have those points, and that's it. So we have to go to this curve and produce a line from the starting point to the projection. Okay. These are the points, these are the projection, and you can see that we have this. Okay, let's just turn this off. You can see that we have these lines. Just turn off the projection point. We can scale this, produce different results, and also change the numbers. So this, this is really easy, and you can see how beautiful it is to produce those lines. And now we have to make those lines into boxes. Again, we can just use the perpendicular frame. If you don't know what perpendicular frame is, I'm going to put another tutorial. We talked about this up here and reparameterize the curve. We talked about this and define a zero or a one, which means the start. Okay, these are too big. So let's just go to display, preview plane, maybe one. Yeah, that's fine. You can see that this is at the end of this, or you can put it at the start, okay? Whatever you want. And now we are using these planes because we want to make boxes. So now what we have to do is to go to the surface, primitive, and uh, I guess that we can just extrude that. We can go to the free form, and use uh, extrude, extrude along, Okay, first I have to make those boxes onto this so I can extrude that into the line. So let's just go to the curve, primitive, and we have this rectangle thing here, which we can just put onto those planes. You can see that these are the boxes here. They are too big. We have to make that small. Again, we have a domain here. So let's just make another construct domain maybe from here to 0, 2.2. Again, we have to just make a minus x divided by 2 to uh, x divided by 2. Give this to the x and the y if you want to make it square. You can also give another one to the y if you want to make it a rectangle, okay? And now, what we have to do is to extrude that into the line direction, okay? 
So I'm going to go to the surface, uh, freeform, and use this extrude thing. This is also another trick you can use in Grasshopper. And we can extrude this rectangle or a square in a direction. Another way you can use the direction, instead of giving just a vector here, we can just connect this line to the direction. This is really amazing. You can always use a line instead of a vector and use that for extrusion or those things and you can see it that we can produce that and if you want to close it you can also use this cap thing and produce the results okay you can make this one or you can if you want to make it faster you can use another technique so we can go to the surface primitive and use this domain box again give this rectangle to the okay we need the base so we have this frame thing the frame was the base of the boxes then we have this xy size again we need that domain so you can use this xy if you want to make this and then we need the height of this i explained that when if we give a number what was it this here if we give a number it's going to be from zero to that so another trick you can use it's just go to the palms menu connect a number to the line it's going to define the length of the line and then we're going to connect this to the z direction so this is going to be faster of extrusion and you can just change that so you can see how fast it is because boxes are something fast you can produce uh, in grasshopper you can also if you want to cut off these boxes uh, use the intersection and use maybe something like this solid difference to cut off that but for now we can just bake these boxes and see the results here it is you can see that we can make something similar to the project and also change this parametrically so let's just go as an interior design you can just change these things and that's really great you can see that we can just make new projects based on this we can increase the height of the project we can scale up this one in the x y direction you can see that we produced another one and change the divisions if we want more or less boxes in any of those directions you can see sometimes it's going to produce those points because those points are going to project somewhere we don't know okay so here it is and we can simply just bake these and finish the tutorial so this was a simple way you can make the one tea house uh, project grasshopper fast and easy as you can see that we just didn't use too many components and thank you for watching subscribe to our channel like this video to support us comment below and see you next time mm -hmm.